going to be me brawler versus Ness. So, as I predicted. Yeah, really difficult prediction, Ness. Hey, man. It's pretty easy considering it's their mains, but All right, you never know. Going to Battlefield. Very neutral map. Battlefield's <laughs> like the most neutral map in the game that I can think of. All right, this me brawler is going to want to get right up in Kim Sage's face and deal a lot of damage. Kim Sage is not the kind of person who allows that kind of thing, no. No, um, Kim Sage is going to be trying to keep his distance as Ness until he sees his opportunity to approach, which exactly. will usually be off of uh, a punish or a PK uh, fire. And that just happened. Yeah, yeah. It, a lot of uh, Ness's approaches does, options are does, limited. Does the up be the opposite way off edge and manages to get back? <laughs> Taking some kicks, and he makes it back. Not quite yeah, a sweet spot, very but... Very valiant effort, though. Not laggy enough to uh, let Hanaeus punish. Back throw. Not a high enough throw PK to leave, and have kill potential. Hurricane kicks won't quite kill. We're going to see Ken Sage jumping back here, hitting an up air. And the back throw will kill this time. And an up smash for the return. Hornets will up smash and uh, even it out, not letting Kim Sage capitalize on the stock advantage. Uh, sorry, stream. I'm eating a burger. It's been a while. You, you've earned it, Mason. You really have. Let's just let this match speak for itself. No, <laughs> no. Um, right. Corneas has a little bit of a lead here, but uh, it's not too crucial, uh, especially something that can really quickly change. <laughs> After one PK fire, uh, you know there's always going to be a follow-up. Um, I guess until then, I jinxed myself, but... Yeah, fo all... following up with a grab off PK fire is one of the easiest things to do in this game, honestly. Very true. It's a perfect distance for you to just dash and grab. Getting a down smash. Uh, almost looked like a shield spike, but not positive. PK pulse mix up, not going to land. Poor Kim Sage, I haven't seen him land a PK uh, Pulse mix up all day. Both uh, parties at kill percentage here, especially Hernaeus, uh in back throw percentage from almost anywhere in the map. Kim Sage just thrown out a bunch of uh, or up smashes there. Trying to get a PK oh, Thunder headbutt. That could have gone so badly. Missing it. Uh, that could have gone so badly. He could have just gotten hit by it. Kim Sage hitting an up smash, but excuse me, that will not kill. Both parties really looking close to death here. Not quite going to kill on the. Oh, back air. That'll take the stock. Kim Sage is uh, looking to capitalize now. Hitting those PK fires. But, Manages uh, to work through the PK fire oh, and get some hits. Shot put will not kill. Kim Sage taking his free sweet spot. Oh! And the PK Thunder happened. headbutt won't kill. Not quite. Oh, the up smash. We were almost looking at an extremely early PK Thunder headbutt to give uh, Kim Sage the lead. Very scary. Missed smash. Ooh, flurry kicks. Not gonna connect. Tornadoes is really closing the gap on uh, Kim Sage's lead here. It's not quite enough, but the comeback is extremely possible, especially now that he's tied the game. Goodness gracious, Kim Sage losing all of his opportunities to approach. Taking a shot put to the face. Waiting for the right moment to strike. Can't find it. No, he cannot. And 
He's going to have to find one if he wants to. Both players are being more gentle than previously in this match, knowing that this, this game right here is going to come down to the next few hits. It certainly is, and Kim Sage got a good one right there. And that oh. will do it. The PK Thunder headbutt is going to take that stop. Hellrock's <laughs> telling Jared that's what we practice for, knowing that Kim Sage has put so much effort into uh, perfecting his nest. Time is at 10.54. God, this uh, Daylight Savings has really got me messed up about what time it is. It's always so dark so early. Yep, and, and to be fair, this has been a little bit longer than planned. There's a few more but, people. But, but we're, still, we're, we're still having fun. It's still hype. Even though I can really use some caffeine right now. I'm getting a little tired, but I got to power it out. We're almost done here. We're in the loser's quarterfinals, so we're slowly approaching the end. Long, long, as, long as we don't, like, fall asleep on stream or something. The rest of the matches are probably going to occur on the stream setup, actually. Yeah, we're at that point where it's all, it's all one elimination game in each round. I mean, that's... Game two, underway. Renee is putting a lot of pressure with his fares on uh, Kim Sage. Kim Sage breaking up the momentum, though. Looking to find a gap so we can start capitalizing. Me Almost lands another PK Thunder headbutt, but uh, at this point, the, the Renee knows better. The shield blocked it. Yes, yes. It blocked the thunder. Renee's looking for an early kill with his hurricane kick, so we're trying to missed, shop with him. Missed that just a little bit with the dodge. Nice, going for the back throw, no pummels. Looking for another uh, PK Thunder headbutt, which at this percentage very well might kill. Oh, down, down smash. smash. Putting Ness very close to Goes the Goes for the death. spike, doesn't get it. PK fire, gonna pummel a little bit and then forward throw. Ooh. Reads the fact that Herneus is uh, preparing for that PK Thunder headbutt and avoids it accordingly. There it the is. Kicks. Side B for the kill. Make any progress though. Horne is sitting at a very high 150%, and uh, Kim Sage just can't seem to take the stock off of him. He's gonna have to pretty quickly if he wants to win this game. And there it is, up air. With the up air, he'll tie it up two to two. Throws a PK fire, but uh, Horne is gonna eat that with a shield. Oh, Horne is going for the spike right next to the ledge. Can't connect though. PK fire. Won't land. Oh, flurry side, kicks. Side B gets him up Hornace there, but it's getting not some gonna kill heavy him. damage on this stock. Kim Sage is gonna need to catch up. He's gonna need to do it now. <laughs> A lot of missing right now. Mm-hmm. Um Good old Wispy Woods always helping out with that. <laughs> there's a hit, and there's a back throw. Back throw nowhere near the percent to kill, however. Not even close, no. Dodging the flurry kicks and is now able to punish with a uh, down throw to forward air. 
Down throw to forward and an air. And up air. That will kill. Down air, down air to, or down throw to forward air to forward air to forward air. The wall of pain. <laughs> Kim Sage is, uh, has really picked up a lead here, and he is definitely looking to take this in real, game two real, and put Hornets out of his misery. Real huge comeback in the last couple minutes. Gets the fully charged down smash that Hornets is trying to. That'll and kill. That's, Hurricane that's kicks. Kill. Kim Sage still sitting at a decent percentage until now. Hit him with the nope. Can't punish on that PK uh, fire. Horneus racking up the damage. Telling Kim Sage she's not out of this yet. He, he needs to say it a little louder. You can tell the players are extremely focused by looking at the player cam. They're both not moving their eyes and they are just Red Tux, the total extremely number of, locked in. <laughs> Red Tux, the total number of players in this bracket at the start was 46. Yes. 46 players. I don't know. We don't have it up. Uh, I have it on my phone. Oh, okay. I was just watching it. Yeah. Oh, no, Back throw for the kill and no, he's still alive. And back throw, back for throw the and kill. that will kill. That is the TKO game. TKO Kim Sage taking it in game two, and he will move on to to uh, loser semis. And Horneus 